Hey everybody, here to make some more softies. What we're doing on this tutorial is putting in the tie and collar stitching dies, as you can see on this Simply Chartreuse doggy that I've made for a little boy named Caleb who hasn't been born yet. And the collar wraps around the back so it looks continuous and realistic. So let's go ahead and get going and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we have a front and back softy body. The front, you can tell, is the front because it has a facial expression die cut into it. And these are the collar dies that cut both the holes and the shape. And these are the holes only dies. They're edger style, so they match up to the edge of the softy there at the neck notch. And that's how you know how to position them. There's also ties. Now, I cut this tie on a different video. And when working with the collar, only the knot of the tie gets stitched to the softy and the length of the tie is loose. Whereas if you want to just use the tie, there's a holes only for the whole tie and it will get all stitched in. But that's only if you're not using the collar. So you just have different options there. All right, what we're going to do first is we're going to cut our collar, both the holes and the shapes. These, I can't imagine you would cut one without the other. Um, so I've just left mine together run it through my die cut machine with vintage cream felt. Cuts like butter. Put those aside. And this is the holes only edger style die for the front with the tie, with the knot. And you see that little divot in the edger style die matches with the neck divot in the softy and that's how you know you have it lined up. I made sure that backer was the same contours on the side. And those lines across are completely continuous and even. As you can tell, there's a lot going on in my house right now. Matt's uh, getting the kids to clean the playroom, so that's unfortunately gonna be in the background. Okay, on the back, on the back side of your softy, you take the back collar, which is just one straight across, and run it through again, the edges, line up with the neck divot and you get stitching holes that are at a continuous line with the edges of the softy die. Now the tie I already cut, the knot is separate, and that is the first thing we're gonna sew down. On the front of the softy, the knot of the tie is has matching stitching holes on the softy. You stitch it all the way around and then right here is the little tricky part. For the length of the tie, it's free, it's loose. And so you just have to uh, lift it up and just sew the parameter of that tie right there. Now, you could sew it down if you want. Just keep in mind there is no corresponding stitching holes in the softy body, but it's not impossible to do. For the last stitch, you go through just the tie and then you go up to that first hole for the knot of the tie and uh, slide your needle through to the back. Everything's being tied off on the back because this is going to go on the inside of your softy and you, we don't have to worry about it looking finished on the back side. So the first thing you want to do is sew on your tie. Now we're going to get to the collar. Okay, here's the collar for you. It's two parts on the front and you want to position it so there's two holes on the edges and they hang off the softy body. Now the second stitches in line up with the contours of the stitching in the softy body. And there should be two stitches between the two parts of the collar on the tie. Now what you're going to do is you're going to insert your needle on the second hole of the softy body but the third hole on the collar. There you go. And like we always do, we stitch all the way back in one direction and then come back to fill in the edges. Right now you're just stitching through the softy body and the collar, but you know, you're going to get to where that tie is. So we're going to be stitching through the tie too, but all the holes line up. So it's still like the lacing cards, easy peasy. And then you just fill it in. And what you don't stitch are those holes on the edges. There should be four holes you didn't stitch. 
And you can tell because you lift it up and you see the holes on the softy body. Those you, so that's how you know you have it right. There's four holes not stitched on the edge of the collar. Do it on the other side. See, you can flip them up. You still see the holes on the softy body. That's what the back looks like. And we leave those until later. Now we're gonna stitch in the knot of the collar, or knot of the tie, rather. And now we're vacuuming downstairs. There's no peace and quiet. Goodness, sorry about that. And you stitch that in and tie it in on the back. Put this all aside. And now we're gonna do the back. Works the same way. Four holes on each side are not gonna get stitched in. So you're gonna insert your needle through the back on the second hole of the softy body and the third hole of the collar off the edge. So there's the second hole in on the softy body and it's the third hole in on the collar. And you're gonna sew into the same point on the opposite end of the collar. Right there, yep. So back and forth, like I did right there. Yep. And then you do it on the bottom line too, on the bottom of the collar. Again, the second hole in on the softy body, the third, third hole in on the collar. And then we leave it till later, until after the softy is all stitched up. Yep, back and forth. And there's what it looks like finished. Four holes not stitched on each side and you should be able to flip off up the edges and see the whole parameter of the softy body. Okay, I went ahead and stitched up my softy body, my softy completely, but I did not stitch the collar. I just stitched the softy. I pulled the collar aside and stitched the softy as I would in the basic softy tutorial. So that's what you have to do. And finishing off the collar is the very last step. You slip your needle between the collar and the softy body with the same thread you were using for the collar. And you are gonna stitch your needle, slide your needle through the corresponding hole in the back front collar and the back collar. You're gonna pierce that, you're gonna skewer that softy body. Um, don't worry about lining up any softy body holes. The only thing that's important here is your needle goes in the hole in the collar, the front, and the corresponding hole in the back collar. And you just work it like we always work it. A running stitch, you get to the end and you reverse. And what's really nice about this is the, you know, the shoulders kind of cinch up just a little bit. And so it has a nice contour and it looks a little bit more realistic. So I like it. You just have to, uh, you know, make sure your needle isn't all like skewed at an angle. You try to go as straight as possible to hit those corresponding holes. And as you can see, you know, I'm going through the arm here and then I go back through the neck. Doesn't matter as long as uh, the front hole and the back hole, your needle goes through them, you're set. On this very last stitch, that's not it, it's next. You don't go through the top layer of the collar, you slip right underneath it with your needle and then you tie off your thread and we hide our knot. And that is how you finish off your collar. Yay, and then you just do it to the other side. Very simple. And here is our softy, all done. And you see how that collar wrap, looks like it just wraps around completely on the body, front and the back. And you have your cute little tie that matches your eye patch and your ear patches. It's a lot of fun. This is for a little boy who hasn't been born yet. I'm making him a pair of matching baby booties too. Can't wait to show you how that all looks. Can't wait to see how it looks myself. I haven't finished it yet. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and lots more to come. Bye-bye.